This is the Waterdrop G3P600 Reverse Osmosis System, and I've been using it under my sink long enough to get past the honeymoon phase. From my experience, the pitch is simple, a tankless RO that gives you fast, super clean water without eating all your cabinet space. That part checks out. The water tastes crisp, there's zero chlorine smell, and the flow is fast enough to fill an ADOTS cup in about 8 seconds. The smart faucet became my daily habit. I glance at the TDS number every time I pour a glass, and watching it drop from my TAPS baseline to low double digits made me trust the system quickly. If you're new to TDS, it stands for Total Dissolved Solids. The lower it is, the fewer minerals and dissolved stuff left in the water. It's not the only measure of water quality, but it's a helpful signal that the RO membrane is doing its job. Key features that stood out to me are the 600 GPD rating, the tankless design, the smart LED faucet with real-time TDS and filter life, and the compact footprint. It measures roughly 18.12 inches long, 5.67 inches wide, and 17.72 inches tall, and it freed up a lot of shelf space where a storage tank would normally sit. The unit is corded, so it needs a 110-volt outlet under the sink. The certifications matter to me too. It's certified against NSF ANSI 58 for TDS reduction and 3072 for lead-free materials, and it's been tested to NSF 42 for chlorine taste and odor. In plain terms, it covers the big things I care about. Fewer dissolved solids, better taste, safer materials. Installation was easier than I expected, but not effortless. The kit comes with color-coded tubing, a feed water adapter that works with common 3 8 and a half inch lines, a drain saddle, and the faucet hardware. The trickiest part is the faucet hole if your sink doesn't have a spare. Drilling stainless or stone takes the right bit, and some patience. Hookups were straightforward. Connect inlet, outlet, and drain lines, Mount the faucet, plug it in, and lock the three filters into place. The system asks for a 30-minute flush before you drink the water, which I did. No tools were needed for filter changes. The twist and pull design is as easy as advertised. For timeline, the app-free reminders on the faucet are enough for me. The CF composite filter up to 6 months or 550 gallons. The CB carbon block up to 12 months or 1,100 gallons. And the RO membrane up to 24 months or 2,200 gallons, whichever comes first. The faucet tells you when you're getting close. Now the part I wish I'd heard more clearly before buying, the water waste. The brand markets a 2 to 1 pure to drain ratio, meaning 2 cups of filtered water to 1 cup of wastewater. That number is true when you're actively dispensing, but it doesn't tell the full story of daily use. Because this is tankless and pushes water through the membrane on demand, it runs automatic flush cycles to protect the membrane and clear TDS creep. TDS creep is what happens when water sits inside the membrane housing. The first sip after idle can have higher dissolved solids, so the system flushes that out. Those flushes keep quality high, but they also send water down the drain, even when you're not filling a glass. On my setup, when I counted both the drinking water and the maintenance flushes, the real-life ratio drifted much higher than 2 to 1. On some days I measured roughly a cup of pure water for about 2.5 to 3 cups of drain water. Your numbers will vary based on your incoming TDS, pressure, and how often you use it, but I did see my water bill nudge up. If you live in an area with expensive water, or you're very conservation-minded, this is something to think about. Noise is the other thing you'll notice. There's a low hum from the internal pump whenever it's filtering, plus the whoosh of water during the flush cycles. It's not ear-splitting, but I do hear it through the cabinet. I put a thin foam pad underneath to cut vibration, and that helped. The sound profile to me is a soft appliance hum, quieter than my dishwasher, but not silent. The autonomous flushes can happen at random intervals, and hearing water run when no one is at the sink took some getting used to. In my opinion, the water quality is excellent. Coffee tastes cleaner, tea is brighter, and there's no trace of chlorine. That said, RO strips out beneficial minerals along with the bad stuff, so some people say the taste is a bit flat. I'm fine with it, but if you want a more natural mineral taste or a bit more alkalinity, you can add a small remineralization cartridge after the system or use mineral drops. That's not included with this model, Build quality feels solid, and the white finish blends nicely under the sink. The integrated waterway has fewer exposed connections, which I like. I did a paper towel test for the first week, just laid one under the unit to spot any drips fast. I haven't had a leak, but I've seen reports of error codes tied to water inside the housing. To be safe, a cheap battery leak alarm near the base is smart. Also, check your water conditions. This unit supports feed water up to 1500 ppm TDS, Runs best in the 41 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit range and expects household pressure under about 87 psi. It's not recommended for untreated well water. If well water is your only source, a good pre filter for sediment and iron is almost mandatory to avoid clogging and short filter life. The faucet interface deserves a shout out. Seeing TDS in real time encouraged me to drink more water, and the filter countdowns remove guesswork. The flow rate is steady, so filling pots or bottles is quick. 
I use it for cooking, rinsing produce and ice, and the speed makes a difference in daily routines. The tankless design also means there's no stored water sitting around, which reduces the chance of bacterial growth that tanks can get if neglected. From my experience, customer support can be hit or miss. I reached out once with a technical question and got a scripted response that didn't quite match what I asked. I solved it myself with the manual and a little patience. I'd recommend keeping the manual handy, labeling your lines during install, and pushing the tubing fully into the quick connect fittings until you feel that firm seat. Those little steps save headaches. It's perfect for households that want high quality water on demand, don't have space for a tank, and value a modern clean setup with a clear readout of water quality. If you keep a busy kitchen and hate waiting for a trickle, the 0.42 gallons per minute flow is a real upgrade. It's also great if you like tech that shows what it's doing instead of leaving you guessing. I'd recommend this for families of about three to seven people who prioritize taste and flow speed over absolute water savings, folks who appreciate a minimalist under sink area, and anyone who wants a straightforward install with easy filter swaps. If your top priority is water efficiency, or if you're in a small apartment where cabinet noise will bug you, or you don't want to do any DIY troubleshooting at all, you may want to think twice about a tankless RO in general. In conclusion, the WaterDrop G3P600 nails the basics I care about. Excellent tasting water, strong contaminant reduction, fast flow, and a tidy undersink footprint. The smart faucet is useful, not a gimmick. The trade-offs are clear too, more water down the drain than the marketing suggests once you factor in automatic flushes and some audible hum during operation. For me, the benefits outweigh the drawbacks, but that balance depends on your water costs, your tolerance for a little noise, and how much you value speed and space over pure efficiency. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and drop your questions or your own experience with the G3P600 in the comments. Thank you for watching.